So we added the fillets on the outside just to kind of smooth that transition from this deck plate down to the deck itself. We're going to let this stuff dry. I had some epoxy left over, so filling in those low spots a little bit. That's going to be a whole other project is the cosmetic side of, uh, you know, getting all this stuff cleaned up and looking good. But for right now, as you're probably aware, what we are mostly focused on is getting this boat where it will float, sail. You know, obviously we want a windlass that's going to work. You know, that kind of thing. The bare necessities is what we're going after right now. It's the bare necessities. The simple bare necessities. <laughs> yeah. To get about your worries and your stripes. Yeah, man. All right, should I pull on this side? Yep. Whoa. The windlass cables are now run to the forward end of the boat. You can see them poking out of the back, the, uh, the uh, anchor locker up there. So what we did, they run from the battery bank, which is under the settee, then they go into this cabinet, then they go into that cabinet, then that cabinet, then this cabinet, and then that cabinet. And then this little locker thing here, and then they come up the wall right there and then they go along the ceiling so all of that's going to be hidden once we get the you know the ceiling finished in here and then for this i think we'll probably just put some kind of a i don't know we're going to disguise it somehow so it's not just bare battery cables in here my goodness you're gorgeous thank you Out of my armpit. is mounted it's not wired but it's mounted <laughs> feel it harder come on put your back into it woman hard day tambi mm -hmm. i thought this was going to go easy and smooth we were going to be done by lunchtime we did not nope. get done by lunchtime no, <laughs> always happen that way. They do not. They do not go the way you anticipated. Yeah, so we're going to try to get it wired up tomorrow, uh, but I'm not going to be able to really test it with a chain yet because we don't yet have the bow rollers mounted up here. You know, th this was what was previously mounted up there, but I feel like this little fella is kind of inadequate, and this one over here is even more inadequate, so... I'm going to try to come up with a better solution for the bow roller, but we should be able to get it wired and test it and push the button and make it go, right? Yep. All right. Great job, darling. Thank you. 
too. You rock, girl. You too. See you tomorrow? Yep. Okay. Good morning! That was enthusiastic, wasn't it? That was enthusiastic. All right. So yesterday we got the windlass mostly installed. It is in place, bolted down. Unfortunately, the aft two bolts aren't quite long enough, so we got to replace those with some that are like half an inch longer. So we'll do that today. And also we're going to complete the wiring. Uh, we've got the solenoid box back there about halfway wired, and we're also installing this little guy, which is a remote, a uh, wireless remote for the windlass. So we're going to see how good this thing works. It's actually a fairly cheap thing off of Amazon. I think it's like 15 bucks, I think, for one of these. Uh, but where we have that solenoid box mounted, we do certainly have the option of like hard wiring a, you know, uh, what do you call it? Just a, a hard wired remote, remote right? Yeah. Like a, like, like how a, one of those remotes for like a crane it has two buttons on it, that kind of thing. We have the option to do that as well if this doesn't work out. So anyways, let's finish wiring up this windlass. I want to push this button and here it goes hopefully in the right direction without letting the smoke out yeah <laughs> we'll see how it goes so white to a2 right, are you sure about that uh, I think so if it's down it goes to a2 mm, all right give a shot did we turn the batteries off yes did we? Huh? It's not. It's not connected to the batteries. Oh, okay. All right, we're good. Then. Don't do that stupid electrical shock scare thing that you always do. Tammy, what makes you think that I would? All right, you got it all wired up. Yes. Ready to test? Yes. What's your confidence level? Eighty mm, percent. Windless test is about to commence. Oh, this is exciting. And a little scary, but mostly exciting. All right, let's be sure that the little, uh, this thing isn't locked in place or anything. All right, ready? All right, push a button. Well, I'm gonna turn it on first. Yep. Okay. That was anticlimactic. Okay, now yep. push a button. Did you turn it on? Yes. Hmm. All right, we found the problem, we think. So there is a ground wire that runs from the battery to the, uh, to the solenoid box, and we're, we don't have that ground wire hooked up. So we got to run to the hardware store because Tamby's 80% confidence level didn't end up panning out. So At least I didn't say 100. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You got it, baby. All right, let's go get some stuff. Okay. All right, we returned from the hardware store with wire. So we're running this wire, then we're gonna hook it up to the solenoid. We're gonna try it one more time. I think it's gonna work this time. What do you think, Tabby? Yes. What's your confidence level now? 90. Oh, whoa, 90, okay. Things are looking up, folks. <laughs> Tabby is pulling wire through the cabinet. As you see, she's using a bit of boat yoga. What do you call that particular position there? Uncomfortable. Ah, that one is called uncomfortable. <laughs> it's not easy. Get it? All right, we just ran the extra ground wire, which is this smaller black one, uh, to the uh, right there position. I know you can't see that, but it's one of the small tabs. There's three small tabs down here, three big lugs up top. So that ground goes in the middle position. There's the uh, the little receiver for the for the remote right here. So now let's see what happens. Honky tonk, badonka donk. Do you uh, consider the term badonka donk to be a term of endearment or belittlement? When you say it. Yeah. Endearment. Oh, nice. All right. Let's see, we, we removed the motor box to be sure we weren't accidentally grounding against the case or some weird problem like that. So, all right, let's 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 see what happens, Tamby. Ready? Yeah. <gasps> oh. Wait, which button are you pushing? Out. Out. Hey, that's right. Is that's it, right. Is it, is, it going, is it going that way? Yeah, baby. Now, go the other way. Oh, sweet. 
Sweet. Yeah, girl. Oh, nice. Yeah, shake it, girl. Tammy's gonna go to the other end of the boat to test the range of this wireless remote. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Oh yeah, forward and reverse. <laughs> it works, baby. Now we are still missing these back two bolts. Uh, they weren't quite long enough and the hardware store did not have the size we need. So still gotta, you know, I'm gonna have to order those and get them installed, but man, it's on there, baby. It's so exciting when a project comes together. that base platform oh man we did it Tamby all right what a project mm -hmm. there were twists and turns and surprises and letdowns and probably 18 trips to the hardware store <laughs> but we got it done yes success <sighs> it's running it works and they go in the right direction but we are missing a couple bolts we're missing some bolts yes. yeah we don't and another thing is we still have to put a, some kind of bow rollers back there. You know, I think I'm going to have something fabricated back home, something nice. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's installed, so mission yeah. accomplished, baby. That's right. All right, wrap this one up, Darla. All right, well, it's a hard project. We got it done. And next week, you get to see us install the hatch in Molly's Beaver. Cutting a so. 20 by 20 hole in the front end of our boat. So we're looking forward to that. Oh man, cutting holes in your boat is always weird. Cutting an enormous <laughs> hole in your boat is horrific. Yep. But so, I think it's gonna be okay. Me too. So that's next week. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this week's. See you next week. Bye. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the video. We really hope you enjoyed it. We have a couple new patrons that came on board we wanna thank, and those would be Rick, and Brian. We really appreciate it guys. Thank you so much for becoming patrons. Yes, thank you. Now we also have a couple things from our Amazon list which are paint. Paint. This is easy cabin coat. This is good stuff. This is stuff we used in the uh, aft cabin. We're going to be using it other places in the boat too. So yeah, very helpful stuff. And then Molly has paint trays. Paint trays. That is right. We're really going through paint trays, rollers, paint, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, all of this stuff off of the Amazon wish list is a huge help. So thank you so much. Uh, take a look at the Amazon wish list. If you want to maybe, uh, you know, send us a little something, check out the list. There's all kinds of things on there that would be uh, helpful to have. So yeah, really good, uh, really good to have your support. Really good to have people chipping in off the Amazon wish list. Consider becoming a patron. Uh, you know, if you want to help us out, otherwise, just uh, keep watching those videos. Subscribe if you have not already. And uh, I guess that's really it. Anything you want to say, Molly? No. Tammy? No, just thanks for your continued support. And we hope you liked this week's episode. And mm -hmm. we'll see you next week. That's right. See you next time. Bye. Bye. See ya.